as the game has developed and the game has grown, we've spent a lot of time going to places in Middle Earth that are that are interesting. We're on a really strong push right now to get back to the core of the story and all of the other stuff that builds out Middle Earth is interesting, it's great, it's unique, but the kind of overall gist of what the Lord of the Rings is and where we're going and the driving force can get lost in those areas. We make sure that we know what Tolkien has established for um, whatever it is we're, we're trying to develop. And once we have that as the foundation, we work closely with concept artists. Lucas is working on the Argonauth right now. A major influence in the design of the Argonauth was definitely making them intimidating and monumental in a way that I don't think many other locations in our game actually do to the same extent. So we want to make sure that when the player sees the Argonaut for the first time, they're as impressed and awe-inspired as if they were seeing it in real life. And the main thrust with Riders of Rohan is the war is finally gaining momentum. We have shown glimpses of the war at the edges up in Mirkwood over in Dunland, and this is where things really start rolling. King Theoden is still under the thrall of Grima Wormtongue, and his nephew Aemer is trying to keep things together. In the meantime, the Fellowship has come down the river and fallen to pieces. I think one thing about Boromir that gets discarded on, particularly this part of the story, is he's still actually a good guy. And for us, we want to try to show his underlying nobility and his regret at what the Ring nearly made him do. Rohan is under siege. Um, there are orcs, goblins, uruks coming in from all sides. We're back with the Fellowship back to the, the story in the Book of Lord of the Rings and, and that tale and that saga and journey. 